Hello everyone and welcome to this set of tutorials on using Adobe Fireworks CS4. In this set of tutorials I'm going to go through the process of creating a layout for a website using Fireworks and then exporting it out of Fireworks into Dreamweaver and turning it into a template. Now uh, in this first set of tutorials the uh, the end result is going to be an HTML table based layout um, just so we can get our heads around how this works and in the new version that we have here of Adobe Fireworks CS4 it also gives us the ability to export out a CSS layout so that will be the that will be the next set of tutorials that I create okay well with that let's get started so first, let me just show you an example here oops, of what our end result is going to look like. So I've created just a little sample layout that you can see here um, with uh, a nice little banner, pretty, pretty standard layout. We've got a few rollover buttons here, and this layout actually has a, a drop-down menu or an example of a drop-down menu. We won't be creating that. Uh, in this tutorial, but we will be creating these menus and a footer, so just really a simple basic layout that will get all done in Fireworks. Um, now let me just, before we jump into Fireworks, let me give you a little idea of the pieces that we'll create in Fireworks that will make this all work. So here's another kind of view of this. Now I'm going to break this apart so you can uh, see the pieces that go into it. Okay, first we're going to have a background rectangle and this is going to kind of sit underneath all of our other content. Basically in Fireworks, each element of our layout we will create as a separate object and then sort of stack them on top of each other. And then when we export this out, uh, F Fireworks will sort of combine all of those and cut it up into pieces for us. So we need a rectangle that's going to define our width, um, our border, if we want rounded corners that's going to define the rounded corners as well as if we want uh, this little shadow effect that gives it a little dimension on the page. Then we'll create a little uh, graphical header that goes in. In this case I'm just going to use a, uh, a photo. Put a little text on for the title. We'll also need to add a footer in if we would like. And then put the buttons on. So you can see there is my layout. And then I added, just for fun, a little cheese and, and a little mouse here, although those are unrelated to the actual layout. Just so you can see how you can, when you do a layout in Fireworks, you have a little more flexibility in where things go. All right, so, but the key here are these four pieces, the rectangle, the header, um, the footer, and the buttons. And I guess I should say five. There's a title in there, but that's just text. Okay, so with that, that gives you a little background as to what this is going to um, come out as. So let's jump into Fireworks and get started.